Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be styling our coffee table and I'm going to be using very simple steps and items that you probably have in your house that you can use as well. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So let's get started. Okay, so here are some things that I grabbed around our house. This was a tray that we had in our closet. This tray I had gotten from Target last year. This is just an inexpensive candle snuff from Amazon, this vase I got from Target. This is a candle from Anthropology, and I, what I like to do is put all of my candles on trays. I just think it makes it look a little extra special and layered, so I got this from our where we keep our cups and saucers, and I just put this on top. And then this is a little dish to hold some trinkets. Same with this, I like to keep a lot of junk in here, but <laughs> I like to keep our remotes primarily in here. And these are just some books I had grabbed from our bookcase. When I like to get our books that reflect who Damon and I are, this one in particular I love. It's about California, so it just makes me happy. And let's start putting these things together. Also, this coffee table is from Pottery Barn. Absolutely love it. Solid wood, and it's reclaimed as well, so it only weighs 200 pounds. I kid you not, this thing is really 200 pounds. But this is how beautiful it is. It has a lot of detail and distressing to it. So the first thing I do is start with my foundation, which are gonna be my trays and my coffee table books. And I have two different trays I'm choosing between here, but I think I'm gonna go with the white because I love the contrast of the white with the wood. So I'm gonna set the acrylic aside. Next, I'm gonna grab my coffee table books and these are just some of the largest ones that we had on our shelves and I'm gonna stack the books to the height that I like and I don't want them to be even I'm gonna have one a little bit higher than the other I'm gonna turn the books around just to make it look pretty from either side of the table and I'm just gonna do it in groups of thirds and then I just kind of play with it and scoot them around and just make sure that I like what angles are at, maybe scoot the tray over. And again, just kind of visually seeing, okay, do I like where this is placed? And just have fun. Next, I'm gonna add height. And this is gonna be with these clippings that I found outside, so I didn't even buy flowers for this. Now I get to add my details. So I'm going to take my little candle with my saucer, put that there, and then I'm gonna take my little Amazon candle snuff and set it next to it. And then I found a magnifying glass that was in our cabinet. And then I also have that blue and white piece that holds our remotes. And like I said, I like to keep these just very functional. And that's it. That's how simple it is to style a well curated coffee table. All right, so that's how simple it is to curate your own coffee table. Remember to just keep it basic. It doesn't have to be elaborate. You wanna keep it functional with your coffee table books, trays, height, and then just add your own trinkets. So that is it. If you guys curate your own coffee table, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle down below. And if you have not subscribed already, go ahead and do that because I make new videos every single week and I'm trying to hit a thousand. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.